Hello, this is Nathan Oxenfeld with Integral Eyesight Improvement. And today I want to inform you about a new addition to my vision practice. This year in 2019, I've begun to add vision retreats into my current offerings. And moving forwards into 2020 and beyond, this is going to be a new big component of what I offer as a natural vision improvement educator. I led my very first four-day vision retreat this summer in Vancouver on Bowen Island. I actually co-taught it with another practitioner named Beata, who is based in Vancouver, and we did an eyesight and bodywork retreat. And in less than a month, I'm offering my second vision retreat in my neck of the woods in Asheville, North Carolina, and I'm just gonna be leading it myself, so it's going to be an eyesight and insight improvement immersion retreat. And I'm already looking at some dates to set up some more vision retreats in May of 2020. And I wanna be offering both retreats in America as well as internationally, so that hopefully one day I'll be close to where you are and you can come attend one of these retreats. So what are these retreats? You know, since I first started my vision practice in 2013, I've been teaching group classes and workshops. And these are, you know, intense vision training opportunities, whether in person or online, as a way to learn the Bates Method and elements from yoga and meditation and breath work and lots of other modalities that can complement the natural vision healing process but they've never really been an actual immersion where you're able to devote a dedicated amount of time in a row to healing your eyes. For example, when I've done my book tours or when I do workshops, it's usually a one-off workshop. So I'll show up in town and I'll offer a 90 minute class or a, even a three hour workshop where we'll cram as much as we can into that short amount of time so that you can learn a lot and you can take that with you and apply it and practice it on your own after the workshop. Or when I do my online classes, there's usually something to learn either once a week or once a month. And it's very convenient because you can do it from home. You don't have to take off time from school or from work. But that being said, there's kind of those distractions there from your everyday responsibilities with your, your life and your friends and your family and your school and your work. And so sometimes people feel like they're not able to really focus on the vision practice. And especially if you already wear glasses, I mean, a big part of improving your vision naturally involves not wearing glasses. And that can be a challenge if you have to drive a car or if you have to be in class and read the, front of the board in the front of the classroom or you need to use the glasses for work or activities in your life. Plus, if you're a parent, you've got to be taking care of your kids. You know, you, you do your best to, to try and take care of yourself and heal yourself, but there's always something that is kind of taking that off of your, the top of your priority list. It kind of puts it on the back burner. And that sometimes slows down the process and draws it out longer. So ever since I started this practice, I've always had a vision to one day be able to offer a multiple day experience where you can actually leave things behind from home and have a retreat, which means that you can be able to take your glasses off and leave them off for multiple days in a row without having to put them back on, without having to drive a car, without having to look at a computer, without having to take care of your kids. Whatever these things are that are preventing you from really committing to what it takes to fully improve your vision naturally, that's what I wanna provide you with in these immersions and these retreats. And that's exactly what I saw this summer at our first retreat. I challenged all the people who came to the retreat to spend if not the entire time without glasses, most of the time without glasses. And the majority of the people took that challenge. And I was really proud to see people actually spending four days, four full days with the naked eye and, and noticing what comes up when you do that. 
there's a lot of challenges, there's a lot of stresses, there's a lot of fears and vulnerabilities that come up to the surface that normally you might not experience or notice if you're able to just pop your glasses back on and kind of distract yourself with something else in your life. And this is when the true healing takes place. So one example of a woman who attended this retreat this summer, one of the nights we were doing some of the vision work, she actually had a, an emotional experience. It was an important discovery for her along her vision healing journey. And I doubt this would have come up to the surface if she was just doing this on her own at home, or even if she was taking lessons with me online or taking my online course because of the depth that we were going in the retreat. And whenever we have these powerful transformative experiences, it might, all, it might not always be the most enjoyable or pleasant thing in the moment, but after she worked through this and she passed through the discomfort, she found herself in this really, in this state of joy and gratitude for making these connections between her root causes and the development of the vision problem still today. And she actually wrote in a little note that I want to share with you about her experience at the retreat in, on Bowen Island this summer. She said, the eyesight retreat far surpassed my expectations. Every day was filled with practical techniques to strengthen and understand my eyesight amazing food and scenery, as well as a warm and open environment surrounded by people who I would quickly come to call friends. Nathan and the retreat taught me all the things that had been positively and negatively affecting my eyesight from my childhood through to today. I am now on the path to correcting my vision naturally and I'm super excited about the small changes I've already seen. So she points out some pretty neat little benefits of this immersion or this retreat instead of just a workshop or a class. See, it's not just about learning the techniques and learning the Bates Method practices. It's also about the community that we build, the group, the other people that come to this retreat. I mean, I was amazed of how open everyone was and how quickly we all became really close and, and really open with each other and became friends together. You know, it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid and I would go to summer camp. You know, I would spend one week with these people, but they became my best friends. And it's, it's similar, you know, even as adults, we, we go on these retreats, we come together, we leave everything behind, and we spend several days really getting to know each other. I mean, we share three meals a day together. Like she said, there's another good thing about these retreats is you don't have to do any cooking or cleaning. I mean, all these delicious, healthy meals are provided for you. Side note, I'm really excited about the one in October in Asheville at Prama Institute because I was speaking with the woman who's going to be preparing all the food, all the healthy vegetarian meals. And she has some personal experience and passion about eyesight and eye healing as well, based off of herself and her children. And she took a look at my eye diet guide. If you've seen my um, diet, nutrition, and supplementation for eye health video, and she's going to be custom tailoring all of our meals to specifically help heal the eyes. So that's just going to be another amazing perk and benefit of this one coming up. But it's not just the community that we build and the delicious food we get to eat, but she also mentions the beautiful scenery. I mean, one thing that a lot of retreat centers have in common is that they're in very beautiful places. I mean, stunning nature and scenery and gorgeous views. And that's not an exception with this one in October at Prama Institute. It's this beautiful retreat center with these two geodesic domes up on this mountain that look out over the, the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I specifically wanted to schedule it at the end of October so that we would hopefully be hitting it right around peak leaf season. People actually flock to Asheville from around the world around this time to gander at the beautiful leaves changing colors, all the yellows and oranges and reds. 
it is a sight to be seen, and we're going to be doing a lot of outdoor vision work and vision stretching using the beautiful scenery around Asheville, North Carolina. So the combination of all this stuff, the community, the healthy eating, the beautiful nature and scenery and much more outdoor time that you might be used to, the lack of screens and phones and computers, and full focus on you healing yourself and spending maybe the most time you've ever spent without your glasses since you first got them, is all of the ingredients to create success with natural vision improvement. And the improvements people get can be pretty noticeable and measurable and profound. Many people who attended the retreat this summer were reading lower lines, smaller text on their eye charts in the distance, and farsighted people were able to read finer print, smaller text up close at reading distance. Just from spending four days without glasses and doing these healing practices on a, on a regular basis. But that's just the eyesight component. And obviously, that's a big thing that we want to accomplish is eyesight improvement. But remember, it's an eyesight and insight improvement retreat. So people were also describing lots of other benefits, whether it has to do with their insight, their inner vision, their memory, imagination, visualization, intuition, and just greater relaxation on all these levels. Plus the realizations and ahas that people have, like Jennifer shared, in terms of the root causes and really getting clear about what caused your vision to blur in the first place. So if you are starting to get a little fed up with having blurry vision and depending on glasses and contacts every day to function in your life, you're feeling kind of trapped or tethered into this expensive, vicious cycle of buying contacts and glasses, or maybe you recently got a diagnosis of uh, a more complicated vision issue like an eye disease or cataracts or glaucoma or macular degeneration, and Maybe you weren't totally satisfied with the diagnosis or what the doctor said, pretty much saying that there's nothing you can do. All you can do is this surgery or this medication. And you're curious about exploring alternative approaches and more natural, less invasive ways to take care of yourself and your eyes and your vision. Then I'm really excited for you to start to participate in some of these upcoming retreats I'll be offering starting this year and beyond. So registration for the Asheville retreat in October 2019, it's going to be the 17th to the 20th, is close to full, but there are a few spaces left. So if you're feeling motivated and, and inclined to really take action in the short term, like really get involved and start it right away, then I would encourage you to check that website out. It's IntegralEyesight.com slash AVL Retreat. That's short for Asheville. I'll put a link in the description and let me know if you have any questions about it. All the private rooms are already booked, but there are a few shared rooms left. Now, if this timing doesn't work, if it's a little too short notice or you want to plan ahead a little bit more, I am looking at some dates at the end of May of 2020, also in Asheville. Instead of at the Prama Institute, I'm looking at doing it at Ohm Sanctuary, which is another retreat center on some beautiful property right in Asheville, North Carolina. So those are the two retreats I've got on the books right now. But like I said, this is going to become a, a new regular thing I'll be offering multiple times a year, hopefully. So, and, and I'm open to suggestions. If you have a, a, a retreat center near you or one that you've been to, or you want me to come to your area, definitely reach out and let me know. And I'll do some looking into that to see if I can make that happen and, and set something up in your area. And like I said, I, I'm interested in not just doing it domestically in the US, but I wanna branch out and start offering vision retreats all around the world. So, you know, there might be an opportunity for you to do some traveling with me 
if you listened to my Naked Eye podcast episode where I share my story, I actually, while I was sharing that story, I had a, a realization myself that a lot of my big vision improvements in my journey happened when I was out of the country or when I was um, out of my everyday routine and I was either traveling or I was doing something where I wasn't working or I wasn't in school and I was able to kind of press pause on things for a little bit and really kind of focus a little bit more on my own self-healing journey. So that's why I'm so excited to be able to start offering these, these opportunities for you to have an experience like that but even more in depth because I wasn't going to vision retreats. I was just traveling or I was doing it on my, by myself. Now, everything I just shared has to do with group retreats. One last thing I want to share is that my new integral eyesight improvement center in Asheville, North Carolina, one of the main reasons why I decided to choose that place to relocate into was because it has its own private ensuite room and I'm going to be using that space as a personal vision retreat center where you'll be able to come to Asheville and stay with me at the Integral Eyesight Improvement Center, have your own private bedroom and bathroom and everything and it'll be similar to the, the group eyesight and insight immersion retreats except it'll be much more individualized. It'll be just you and me working with the vision training part of the day and then giving you some free time and some rest time and some retreat time to either do your own thing or we could set up some excursions and go out on some hikes and climb some mountains and check out some waterfalls and, and maybe even get involved with some of the other amazing healing offerings and modalities that are available in the Asheville area because it's a little mecca in the mountains for all of these amazing holistic healing opportunities, whether it's sound healing or light therapy or massage therapy or energy work or body work or acupuncture, not to mention all the food in Asheville is just so amazing and healthy and locally sourced. So I'm still in the process of getting that all set up, but if that's something you're interested in, doing more of an individual one-on-one -on -one immersion with me, feel free to reach out. I'll be adding a section on my main website about that with more information and logistics and everything like that once the room is fully furnished and ready to have visitors. And if you saw my recent video of me giving a little tour of the Integral Eyesight improvement center, then you know that the history of that building is pretty interesting and unique. It was originally a tuberculosis sanitarium in the 1800s. And so people have actually been coming to that very spot for healing for over a hundred years. And so it's kind of neat to kind of pick that tradition back up and keep that going to turn it into a healing space and once you arrive there, you'll really be able to feel that energy because of the location up on the mountain and especially the view from the center out at the mountains in the distance overlooking the whole city. It's, it's really amazing. And I've been so, so happy to be there, to, to live there and to work there. So hopefully one day you can come and, and join me there. But in the meantime, Check out the group vision retreats I've already got set up in the Asheville area this October 17th to the 20th, and also possibly the last weekend in May of 2020. And stay tuned for more information about further retreats in America and in other countries as well. And I mean, this is the way that the Bates Method was originally meant to be learned. People used to leave everything behind and go travel and visit Dr. Bates in New York City when he was alive and really just immerse themselves in the Bates method, working directly with the teacher and with his helpers in the clinic to fix their eyesight and to heal their vision holistically and naturally. And then they could go back home and get back to their lives. So, I mean, it's amazing that technology has enabled us to be able to communicate over the internet and I think it's amazing that I can have students from Asia and Australia and Europe and South America and all over the place. But 
one of the tricky parts of that is you kind of have to juggle that with your everyday routine and with school and with work and with family and all these responsibilities. So it's something magical can really happen when you're able to kind of separate yourself from all that and really focus in on yourself. And I promise that by attending one of these eyesight and insight immersion retreats with me, you will experience better eyesight and better insight throughout the entire experience. And you're going to know exactly how to keep going once the retreat ends. So even if you're watching this after this October retreat has already passed, remember there's going to be more coming up. So keep checking back on my website, integraleyesight.com for updates, upcoming events, and I'm always sharing what's going on on YouTube and in my podcasts, the Naked Eye podcast. And a really good way to stay in the loop is to hop on to my monthly email newsletter, Eyesight Insights, which you can find a link to on my website and in the description. So I hope to have the opportunity to meet you in person one day and to guide you through a multiple day experience in natural vision improvement. So thank you so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you soon.